Okay, from time to time, Munch Pack. Munch Pack, Munch Pack sends us stuff. Ready? Yeah. Who packed it? Nick. Nick packed this one. Nick says pack with care. If you don't know what a Munch Pack is, it is a uh, bunch of snacks from around the world. And they're kind of fun. Uh, they send them to me. I've got like two or three of them now. And it's time to actually make a video on the Munch Pack because I'm sitting in a traffic jam, which I will show you. It's pouring rain. Uh, there's road work. Uh, all trucks need to get in the left lane. So Teresa says, I'm starving. Which she only weighs like 110 pounds. So she's not really starving. But there's some really cool stuff in there. So kind of hold them up. Hold up what you got. I want those. Well, we're going to share it. Okay, so that's well, that's the whole idea with a munch pack is to share it. So, vanilla flavored wafers. So we got vanilla flavored wafers. They're cool. We got What's whatever that? this thing is. It's like a bar. Okay, so this thing here. Oh, I bet this got peanuts in it. Oh, I don't think I like this thing. This is says kajillion. Kajillions? Kajillions? Watermelon. Tiny, tasty, chewy candy. Oh, I want these. Kajillions. Kajillions. It's some kind of candy. Oh, I'd like to try this one. I'm driving and doing a munch pack. I'm sure munch pack is going to say, oh, we're, we're not a... Yeah. Ooh, honey stinger. Yeah, I'd like to try Organic that. vanilla and chocolate flavored waffle. Yeah. Right? I think it's kind of like blue waffle, isn't it? <laughs> they got Mentos. Mentos? Mentos pop-ins. Oh, I'd got... like to try this too. Okay. What are they? Are they hot? It's like a chips. Neil Brothers Foods. VG's. The JJ's. The JJ's. <laughs> the JJ chips. If you got the JJ chips, you got plums. <laughs> Damn! What's this thing? We got that. Geezy Vig. Geezy Vig. I think that Geezy Vigs must be. Uh, they're from Ulker. Yulker or Ulker? Ulker. They gotta be German. Maestro. What are these? Maestro. Not Nabisco. These are Naestro vanilla flavored cream cookies. So we can eat those. And what do we got there? Last one. Last one. Holy cow, the JJ strips. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> that's not even funny, but it is funny. Sour, sweet, what? sour belts. <laughs> okay, put them back in the box and we'll test them all out. My JJ. <laughs> I'm gonna hold <laughs> The JJ chips. I'm gonna open the first one, which is the JJ. Deli delicious. Oh, what kind of delicious? Deli. Deli. <laughs> delicious. Delicious. Oh, it's stinky, but JJ. <laughs> oh, what's it smell like? Let me smell it. Come on, let's do the JJ chips. Oh, it smells like a bullion cube. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? I'd have to say that the JJ chips are a little spicy. And they're pretty good. You don't have water in the truck. No. no. There's plenty of water out there, though. Cool. Hot mother scratches. Wow. Mm. Oh. Uh oh. Wow. They're not bad, but I don't like it's black pepper. I know it's black pepper, but I think it's Cajun. Cajun pepper? Man. So this is what we're dealing with. Yes, this is the weather. I'm filming and driving and eating the JJ chips. <laughs> Holy cow! Oh, you're moving on to something different. I like them. You know, I like them. I'll eat them. Heck with you. They're spicy. They are spicy. I'm not a spicy type of person, but not bad. I'll have to find water somewhere. Look at that. Need water. Blue sky. Blue sky out there. It's about to stop. That is cool. Cool. Anyway, so what do you got there? Vanilla wafers? Yep. Okay, so we're going to have to edit some of this stuff a little bit. Huh. 
Oh, this is skin a little quick. Okay. Okay, so these are these vanilla things? Mm-hmm. Alright. Oh. No? That's extremely sweet for Ooh. me. Ooh. Sugary, sugary, sweet. Mm. I think they're okay for coffee or something or tea. Yeah. Not something wow. we're gonna eat right out of the can. So anyways, uh, what we'll do is we're gonna eat some more of this stuff. I'm starting to drive a little better here. And uh, I'll give you some information on how to get these munch packs. It's munchpack.com. They're a lot of fun. Um, they're they're reasonably priced. Good for like say a birthday parties and things like that. To get a couple of those together, get your friends and stuff together, and try out the different varieties and different things from around the world. It's rather enjoyable. And some of the names of these uh, products, like the JJ chips. <laughs> it's kind of funny if you got a dirty mind. But anyways. Try out the munch pack. That's a creepy looking cloud, don't you think? Yeah. Almost got a rotational aspect going to it. Right there. Look like it rope could rotate a little bit. It does, right there. Wouldn't that be some shit of the friggin' finger of God came down and See it right there now? See the rotation? I see it. Right? There. That cloud right there, you see the white part of it? That okay. looks like a damn tornado up there. Ooh, truck, what are you doing? Definitely some rotation there. I don't know. I would, uh, yeah, tornadoes aren't very common here. But, well, in my luck, it'll reach down and grab me. You think? Tur turbulent skies for sure. And then we got what, 35 miles to go? We're looking 22 for 22 miles. 22 here. Mile oh, 14 20 miles, miles away. We're getting there. Stadium. We're close to Gettysburg. In uh, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, if you didn't know, back in 1860, what, 34? 63 or 64? That was the Battle of Gettysburg. And it just so happened to be on this weekend. This weekend in the 1800s. Civil War, American Civil War. Uh, and, it's, and that's only like 30 miles away from us. And I said to Teresa, maybe we'd go over there. It's a real lot of, a lot of neat history there. We could go there. You would like to? Sure, I don't mind. I mean, if we're out here and all, Might as well go there. all hell's out there. about to break loose, I don't know. It'd probably be really, really, really crowded, but it'd be neat to go through the fields. The battlefields are there. There's a tower you can look over, uh, I want to say it was Eisenhower or Roosevelt. Yeah, it was Roosevelt. Uh, had a farm out there. And you can see that a dairy farm, believe it or not, the President of the United States did. Uh, there's cannons that are placement, placed all around there. Uh, stone uh, monuments out in the middle of nowhere, little round top, and uh, yeah, all the different, the, the Devil's Den. The Devil's Den, that was kind of neat. You can still walk around and go inside of that. Uh, it's been about 12 years or 15 years since I've been there, but it was a lot, a lot of history there. And we're gonna be that close, especially on a weekend, or may even be a lot of reenactors there today, because today I believe them. I'm not 100% sure, but today is July 1st, and I believe the battle lasted for three days, and uh, I'm not sure if it started on the 1st or not, but if, if there's a reenactment going on, that would be some sweet, sweet videotape to see. It'd be cool. Maybe we'll make the trek over there. It's only another 10 miles from our destination. Seven harvestor silos, 700 cows are milking here at that place. I don't remember what he said their names were. Plus the slurry store. Look at that bad boy. So I had the slurry store. Those weren't as expensive. Yeah. Yeah. 700 cows. And then what did he say? Their cousins had 2,000 cows? Yeah. 2,000 cows. Beautiful country down here. Beautiful. Where are we at? Greencastle, Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah. Greencastle, Pennsylvania. Me and Teresa here are going to stop. Right up here on the left hand side there's a nice little farm stand and we're going to get us some sweet corn.
Yep, right about there. Yeah, that's it. Tomatoes? You don't want tomatoes. Uh, sure, you, I want tomatoes. You can tomatoes. get what you want. How's that? You can get what you want. I paid the bill. Say, I can get what I want? You can Ooh, get what you wait. want. wait. Let me say, let me put that on video. What? He said I can get whatever I want. What are you talking about? I never said any such thing. He that's, just said That's it. nonsense. <laughs> that's falsehood.